highly welcome for today's tutorial. Yes, briefly, we're going to look into the introductory aspect of statistics, where we're going to talk about the definition of statistics, the branches of statistics, we'll talk about data analysis, forms of data, variables, types and of data, and so on and so forth. So in this video, you have a lot to learn, okay? Now, in the next video, we're going to talk about population and sample, where we're also looking into probability, types of probability, and some terminologies. So, let's, let's talk about statistics. What is statistics? Statistics simply talks about four major things. Now, we'll talk about data collection, data presentation, data analysis, and interpretations of the findings in order to make effective decision. Okay? Let me take it one more time so you understand. Statistics simply talks about data collection, data presentation, data analysis, and interpretation of the findings in order to make effective decision. So, what are the branches of statistics? We have two branches of statistics. We have descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Now, descriptive statistics simply deals with the collection of data and presentation of data in table and graph. Okay? One more. It deals with the collection of data and also presentation of data. Now, inferential statistics deals with analysis of data in order to draw conclusion and make effective decision. Now, we look at it this way. Descriptive deals with the collection of data and presentation in table and graph. Inferential deals with the analysis of data to draw conclusion in order to make effective decision. Okay? Now, we'll talk about data. Data itself, it is simply a scientific term for facts, figures, information, and measurements. We can also say that data are raw facts. Let's give an example of, an, of a data, rather. We can say the number of goals considered by a goalkeeper in a football match. We can say the number of people who gain admission each year into the university. These are data. These are data, okay? Now, take good note of it, that when data is finally processed, then we have a term known as information, okay? So, a processed data is information. Take good note of that. I repeat it one more time. Data is simply a scientific term for facts, figures, information, and measurements, all right? So, what are the types of data? We have two major types of data, which are primary and secondary. So, the primary data, they are data collected from the original source by the reporter or data collected for the purpose of whatever it is collected for by the investigator. Now, take good note of this, that data collected for the first time by an investigator from the field of study, it's simply known as the primary data. Examples or method of search, we have the questionnaires, we have observations, we have mailings, and so on and so forth. So that is it about the primary data. What about the secondary data? Now, if the primary data are data collected from the original source, it simply means that the secondary data are data that are not collected from the original source, which means they can either be extracted from other sources or from a secondary means, which is from an already existing data. All right, so primary, it is collected from the investigator itself. Secondary is collected or extracted from an already made investigator investigation rather now what are the methods of collecting um, secondary data or examples we have the newspapers we have the journals the magazines and so on all right now let us talk about the forms of data we have discrete and we have continuous now discrete still falls under quantitative which can also be seen as numeric while we also have non-numeric which is qualitative where we have ordinal and nominal let me break it down for you. When we talk about discrete data, they can assume a fixed value. You see, discrete data can assume a fixed value. Then we have figures like 3, 10, 50, 200. These are fixed values. So discrete data can assume fixed value. On the other hand, when we talk about the continuous data, they cannot assume fixed value. Please take good note of these steps the way I bring it down from definition of statistics, branches of statistics, data, types of data, and now we're talking about the forms of data. So, continuous data are data that cannot assume 
fixed values. Let's take for instance, we have 3.0, 2.0, 1.5. All these are continuous data. They can't assume a fixed value. Unlike the discrete that gives you a whole number, either 2, 3, 10, 5, 20, and so on. Now, let us talk about variables. What are variables? You see, variables are items or events or activities that changes with respect to time. That is, they can assume different values. All right? They can assume different values. There are different types of variables. We have the quantitative and the qualitative. Under the quantitative variables, we'll talk about variables that can be expressed numerically. Okay? They can be expressed numerically. Example, we have the age. My age. Let's say I'm 30 years, I'm 20 years, I'm 15 years. My age is an example of a quantitative variable. Quantity. Quantitative. All right? Now, when we talk about quality or qualitative variable, we talk about um, values that cannot be expressed numerically. Example, we have color. Can you express color? No, it can't be expressed, all right? So they cannot be expressed numerically. Now, I'm going to give you a diagram that will help you understand what data is all about. So, right after this video, you will see a diagram popped on, on the screen. Just pause the video and copy it out. So let's go further to numeric and the non-numeric types of variables. Now, the numeric type of variables, or the numeric type of data, rather, uh, a data that combines both discrete and continuous. Take note, discrete and continuous, okay? So, they combine the discrete and continuous data characteristics, which simply means they are data in form of counting and measurement. Remember, when I talked about discrete, it's a fixed value. When I talk about continuous, they are the values like gave you 1.2, 2.3, and so on. These two discrete and continuous falls under quantitative, which are numeric data. Now, the non-numeric data, we have um, examples like the ordinal and the nominal. First of all, these are data combination of ordinal and nominal data characteristics. So, what are ordinal or what is ordinal? They are non-numeric data which can be put on ordinal scale. When I say ordinal scale, it simply means they can be arranged in a particular order. We have the salary scale. It's a very good example of an ordinal data. Now, under nominal, we say they are non-numeric data which cannot be put on ordinal scale. Example, gender, sex, and so on. These ones cannot be put on ordinal scale. So take good note that the nominal data is also known as the categorical data. Remember, gender talks about some category. Sex, male or female, talks about some categories. So, my good friend, in the next video, you are going to learn population and sample, all right? Then we'll look into the definitions. We'll talk about probability, types of probability. We'll also look into some terminologies that will help you and will guide you to understand the introductory aspect of statistics. Very soon, we'll move into calculations, and I bet you I will simplify it for you. So have a good day. Goodbye.